I'm so good at sleeping, I can do it with my eyes closed. Today, I'm going to recap a 2018 action thriller film called Skyscraper. A quick warning, there will be major spoilers ahead. The movie begins in 2005. Will Sawyer is leading an FBI hostage rescue team. During the mission, the hostage taker detonates a suicide bomb. Will is badly injured due to the explosion. Part of his left leg below the knee has to be amputated. In the present, Will, who is now wearing a false leg, his wife Sarah, and his twin children Henry and Georgia, live in an apartment inside Pearl, the world's tallest skyscraper located in Hong Kong. Zhao Longji is the business entrepreneur behind the construction of the 225-floor building, which is even taller than the Burj Khalifa. Will has started a private security company, and he is in the Pearl because of that. Ben, who works for Zhao, appears out of the elevator. Sarah and the children leave to enjoy themselves. Will and Ben ride up the elevator for a meeting with Zhao, security director Ajani, and insurance underwriter Mr. Pierce. Will is hired to assess the safety and security systems. He reports in the meeting that the computerized fire and security systems have passed his test, though he needs to inspect the security at the off-site facility. Zhao gives Will a tablet, which can only be accessed by Will's face. Zhao takes Will to a room, where mirrors pop up from the floor, mirrors that give reflections at different angles. Will rides with Ben on a boat. When they reach their destination, a criminal steals Will's bag and stabs him. In the basement of Pearl, a maintenance engineer sees a wall break off to reveal a hole, from which hands reach out and strangle the engineer to death. The killer removes a gas mask and is revealed to be Kors Botha. Ben is bandaging Will's wound. Will had put Zhao's tablet in his jacket before they left. Sarah speaks to Will on the phone as they are back at Pearl, because Henry got ill. Ben pulls out a gun and reveals that he is also working for Kors and asks Will to hand him the tablet. They start to fight and Ben accidentally gets shot in the chest with his own gun. A dying Ben tells Will his family was not meant to go back into Pearl, and Ben had knowingly gotten them out of the building. Kors and his men start a fire on the 96th level of Pearl. Will looks out the window and sees the fire at Pearl. Will gets attacked, he gets out the window and climbs down a ladder. Shaw, one of Kors' associates, appears and zaps Will with a stun gun. She scans his face on the tablet and is about to kill him. When police officers arrive, and shoot the criminal surrounding Will, killing the criminal who stole Will's bag. Shaw drives away in a van, and Will gets on the motorcycle and heads toward Pearl. Shaw and the goons enter the off-site facility and kill the staff. With access to the tablet, they disable the anti-fire measures. Two security men come out of the elevator to take Sarah and the children up to the top floor. Fire shoots up the elevator shaft and explodes out of the elevator. Inspector Wu leads a manhunt for Will Sawyer, with police believing that he disabled the anti-fire measures. The hacker says to Shaw that she has full control of the tablet, even without facial recognition, and no one else has access to the mainframe, while Shaw shoots him. Ajani says to Zhao that they will have to leave, or else they will be stuck, and Zhao agrees to evacuate. Zhao knows Kors Botha is behind this fire, and that Kors does not want him dead. At least not yet, he wants the flash drive. After evading the police, Will climbs up the side of a crane and gets inside the building to save his family. The helicopter is ready, but Ajani discovers that its pilot is an imposter. Mr. Pierce reveals to Zhao that he is also an agent of Kors. Kors and his men come out and kill Zhao's people. Zhao asks why doesn't Kors just shoot him and take the drive. Kors replies that he is going to take him and the drive in his helicopter and will let the building burn to the ground. Ajani gets up and shoots the pilot, causing the helicopter to crash into the building. Zhao gets up and runs down into the penthouse and locks its doors before Kors can get to him. Sha tells Kors she can't open the penthouse doors with the tablet and that Will and his family are in Pearl. Pierce says they need to find Will so he can get in and Kors say they don't have to as they know what he wants. Sarah and the children are crossing the bridge when Pierce appears, pulls out a gun, and grabs Sarah. Sarah pulls a pair of scissors out of her pocket and tells the children to run, 
then stabs the scissors into Pierce's leg and fights with him until he's on the floor. A falling metal structure smashes the bridge. Burning debris falls, separating Henry and Georgia. Henry tells Georgia to go up to the waterfall. Pierce gets back up and attacks Sarah, when Will appears and pushes him off the bridge. Will places a wooden plank across the gap and holds it, while Sarah walks across to get Henry. Henry is riding on Sarah's back, and Sarah jumps to Will at the last moment, before the plank falls. There is an elevator that operates on electromagnetic induction, and is held in place by a fail-safe brake. Will cuts the cable, the magnets kick back on when it passes the fire line. Sarah engages the braking system, and Sarah and Henry escape from the building, and meet Inspector Wu. Two men appear before Georgia, she runs off into the waterfall, and they follow her. Will fights with them before meeting Kors. They are outside the penthouse doors. Will says the only way the doors open is from the inside, or if the fire alarm on the penthouse level triggers it, but this can't happen, because Kors took the entire system offline. Kors says he will throw Georgia off the roof if Will does not bring to him what she is holding behind the doors. They take Georgia with them, leaving Will on the floor. He sees a news broadcast and learns that Sarah and Henry are safe. Sarah describes to Wu the man she saw in Pearl. The police bring up images of people from which Sarah recognizes Kors. Police wonder why Kors would trap himself in the fire and cut off his only way out. One of Kors's men had a container with the word Sirin on it. The police look up Sirin and find out that it's a parachute. Sarah concludes that it is likely that they will jump out of the building and land nearby. The subroutine panels that control the doors are behind the turbines. Will smashes open a window, climbs along the side of the building, and abseils to the turbines. He gets inside the turbines and cuts a wire, opening the doors. Will climbs back up to the building and uses his false leg to stop the doors from closing again. Once inside the penthouse, Zhao puts a gun to the back of Will's head. Will grabs Zhao's hand holding the gun, kicks him in the leg, and is on top of him in an instant and says that they need to talk. Zhao explains about Kors Botha, that he handles extortion for three powerful crime syndicates. When Zhao began construction on Pearl, he came to him and asked for protection money. Zhao did pay him, but he hid a tracking software inside wire transfers and collected the syndicate's information. When the syndicates found out they were compromised, they threatened to destroy Kors if he didn't clean up his mess. If Zhao dies, the copies will be sent to the authorities, which is why Kors need the original files to hide their identities. Kors started the fire in Pearl, knowing Zhao would take the flash drive and run. Will says they will give Kors what he wants, but Zhao says that he will kill them both. Will wants to save his daughter, and her life is more important to him, so he asks Zhao to help him. Kors, his men, and Georgia are on the roof. Will and Zhao appear, with Zhao's hands bound with duct tape. Zhao frees his hands from the duct tape, takes the drive, points his gun at Will, and says that he wants a parachute. Kors orders one of his men to give him his parachute. He tosses the flash drive across the room, while Will shouts at Georgia to run, pulls a sword out from under his shirt, and slashes the man in front of him. Zhao shoots at the criminals. The mirrors pop up. They start to fight, and criminals start, having a hard time distinguishing the real people from the reflected images. Will finds the flash drive, while a thug is shot by Zhao before he can kill Will. Wu leads an attack on an area that is likely to be the drop zone for the parachutes. Inside a police car, Sarah sees Shaw about to shoot a police officer. She slams Shaw on the car door and while fighting her, beeps the car's horn, alerting the police. Shaw is strangling her, when a police officer appears, pointing a gun at Shaw. Sarah knocks her out and picks up the tablet Shaw left on the seat. Will orders Kors to turn around. Kors has Georgia and threatens that he will drop a grenade in the girl and orders Will to toss him the drive. Kors is looking at a reflection of Will, while Will is actually behind him. He kicks Kors over the edge and grabs Georgia. The grenade explodes, ending Kors' life before he can fall down. Sarah uses the tablet to restart the building's control system. The anti-fire measures come back online, the sprinklers start working again, and the fire is extinguished. A helicopter arrives to bring Will, Georgia, and Zhao down to safety. Will gives Zhao his flash drive, 
then the Sawyer family happily reunites, and Wu has a chance to finally meet Will, acknowledging that he was not responsible for the fire in Pearl. Zhao states his intention to rebuild Pearl. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy, hit the like button. And if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. You should watch the full movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more video like this.